Okay, no joke. It's 11 p.m. where I'm at. I just got out of bed. My wife's still sleeping, so I have to keep my voice down. But no joke, the title and the thumbnail are not clickbait. Mahoyo is going to be giving every single player in the game completely free to play up to 75 free summons that y'all can earn at your own pace as of now. I will explain how to get all of that, and we have tons of patch 1.2 details, quality of life features, and a new motherfucking event coming very, very, very soon. So this article was literally just posted right now. I mean, this shit says December 4th. It's still December 3rd where I'm at. This shit was posted right now, okay? Tons of stuff. I'm not gonna glaze. I'm not gonna just gonna go it too deep. We're gonna touch on everything. You're gonna get the full story. I'm not gonna waste your time, okay? I wish there was a private uh, chat function so I could chat with my friends before ending the world. So now you're going to be able to have a private chat system. Oh, clean, okay? Next, you're going to be adding uh, nicknames to all of your buddies. That way you can remember who they are. Two nice little quality of life. You can talk to people while they're, uh, you know, not in your world. And then you can nickname them. You can call them cutesy things like uh, My Little Pog Champ. Huge. Uh, I wish I could add a trackable pin that after closing the map, I know which way to go. Just like with quest objectives, it gets annoying having to repeatedly open the map and check on a journey because you keep going off track along the way. Okay? So they're going to be adding trackable map pins. Huge. Finally, and I mean fucking finally, you're going to be able to repeat domains without leaving them, which means we're going to get rid of about, about I don't know, five unnecessary loading screens in order to do this shit, which means farming now is going to be so much easier, so much more streamlined, and just way, way, way faster, okay? Hopefully it works smoothly with co-op, hopefully, okay? I'm frequently missing on domain and leyline blossom drops. Having to collect them manually sucks. From now on, you're not going to have to. Any drop that you get from leylines or domains, they're going to go straight into your inventory. This one, I get if people want that, but personally, I like picking them up. I like seeing the gold thing on the ground, but that's okay. Hey, more streamlined means more dummies can't fuck up. And hey, that's all I care about. Next up, we have a dialogue autoplay option. For all the people who want to jerk off to the Mona cutscenes, now you can let it autoplay, and that way both your hands are completely free. So this one's big for the coomers of the community, or for people who don't give the shit about a lore, they just want to autoplay it and go run a marathon, or watch a movie, okay? Next, I wish there was a place to view the dialogue for quests I've already completed. Sometimes it's nice to go back over the story. Wait, they're actually going to add that? Oh my god, that's so cute. That's so nice. Look, chat, I know, sorry, not chat, YouTube frogs. Uh, sorry, I've been streaming a lot over at Twitch.tv before I started. We've been popping the fuck off. We had 12.5 thousand viewers on Twitch the other day. I still can't believe that shit. Thank you all for checking out my Twitch. Look at this shit, dude. We're going to add all of the lore to be completely viewable. That's so nice for people who actually give a shit about the lore. That's absolutely amazing. Or if you're in a rush and you got to fucking beat through it, you can come back later and catch up on what you missed. Oh, that's going to be so cute. In co-op mode, uh, progress is interrupted when a player uh, quits the game. Can this be improved? Uh, wait, what is this even about? Oh, okay, so now when people leave your co-op sessions, it won't fuck with your game state anymore. Thank God, very nice. But last, and certainly not least, from this article, before we talk about the event and all the event goodness, dude, every single you time you ascend a character at 20, 50, and 70, bro, you get a free standard summon, okay? Currently, as of time of recording, there's 25 or 26. So that means if you ascend everything at 20, 50, and 70, that's 75 summons like that, okay? And this is going to happen retroactively, which means that if you've already done this, they're going to be in your inventory whenever this goes live, okay? I know a lot of y'all probably don't have every single character uh, at Ascension 70, okay? Nor do I, but I have at least, I don't know, a third, a half the roster, and no, I have the entire roster, at least Ascension 20, so I'm getting minimum 25, max like, probably like 40, 50 summons for free, dog. This shit 
is crazy. And the best thing is, this is going to uh, motivate people to play longer, to get free summons. And because 75 at the end of the day, that's almost a guaranteed, uh, that's almost a guaranteed five star. So that's great. This is going to be amazing for free to play players. And sure, you may not be able to get all of them, but you'll definitely be able to get a lot of them. Because ascending to 20, that's pretty damn free. So if you have a couple characters, this should be at least a free temple for everybody. But for anybody at the tippity top of the mountain, bro, that's 75 poles. Yo, that's fucking sick. Next, gliding challenge event details. Now, this is really, really, really nice. Okay, a gliding challenge. I was never expecting anything like this ever. Personally, I love the gliding mini games that they've done. There's actually one where I feel like a fucking fighter pilot and you like fly through the sky. You gotta drop up, go up. This has been super nice and I never thought they would implement something like this in the game. Hopefully it goes well. Uh, personally, I do think the gliding speed is a little bit low, but regardless, I will take whatever Mahoyo wants to give me because hey, I'm a Mahoyo simp. So to do this, you have to be at Adventure Rank 20, which isn't really that bad. You can actually get Adventure Rank 20 pretty much in the first day. So we're going to be getting uh, talent level of materials, Mora, Hero's Wit, and most importantly, Primo Gems, because so many people are bitching about it. And hey, to be fair, that is totally fine. Uh, new event-related BP missions have been added. I don't really care. I've actually almost finished the Battle Pass in less than a week. I actually missed... I, I wish they would make the, the Battle Pass longer because it feels really bad when you finish it because it's so fun to do. And when it runs out, it's just kind of really sad. So to be honest, I hope for maybe in the future they make Battle Passes a little bit harder to finish or at least a little bit longer to do. Uh, event gameplay. So a new gliding course will be unlocked every day. What the fuck really okay uh the, wait what the fuck every day a new stage that's fucking dog that's sick i almost said hella sick but i'm not a fucking idiot so i don't use that word so you get scored on how fast you do this shit what the f really okay each day you can attempt the same course as many times as you like to set a new high score i'm saying this shit right now i will be the number one content creator for gliding challenges all y'all other cucks i dare you to beat my score okay pick a day i will fucking crush your nuts okay i am a gliding god during gliding challenge you're gonna send skill while in flight use this skill will cause you to fly certain distance directly upwards this looks so cool you do not have to collect gold coins <laughs> you do not have to let go of In case you don't know, one of my favorite genres is platforming. This looks so fun. Like, fun. Like, fun. Fun? In a game? What? Disgust? You're supposed to grind. Dude, this just looks fun. Oh my god. Yo, this looks adorable. Uh, if you spend too long on a challenge, you will fail. And you have to get fucked. <laughs> so don't fucking suck. All right, here's you go through the rings to get the boost. You go through the hoops. What the fuck? Dusty balloons are filled with dirty air. If you collect one, you get Corona and your account gets deleted. Huge. Explosive balloons are hazardous items. What the fuck is this? Bro, that's the coolest shit I've ever seen. I can't wait for all this shit. And out of respect to y'all, I'm going to end the video. Come check out my twitch.tv forward slash tech tone if you want to see me doing this shit whenever this goes live tomorrow. I fucking love all y'all. Thank y'all so much for clicking on my video, liking, commenting, subscribing. Once again, thank 100k. Let's go for 350k before 2021. But regardless, I love all you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.